from Milton Keynes. Uh, we're all vegans and uh, we're here because eating animals is very weird. It's very strange, strange mate. Weird. And gross. My name is Aaron. I'm from Watford, but I live in Bedford. And I'm here because animals deserve the right to a life free from oppression and enslavement. And because I want to stand up for them and give them a voice. But we're from Brighton um, and we're here just to support the protest. We're vegan for a few years now. Right, I'm and, right. uh, yeah, we're here to make some noise. <laughs> we're from Scotland, various parts of Scotland, mainly the Glasgow and Edinburgh areas. We're part of a grassroots volunteer group called Go Vegan Scotland and we go out in the streets of Edinburgh and Glasgow, the major cities, most weeks. We do pop-up stalls around and about Scotland, spreading the, ve the vegan message uh, to non-vegans. So we're grassroots tablers talking to people about why we should all be vegan for the animals. I'm from London. Uh, I'm here to uh, stand up for animal rights, cruelty against the uh, livestock. So I'm here from America. I live in Indiana and I'm here because animal rights is one of the most important social justice issues of our time. So I traveled 4,000 miles to be here at the march. Woo! Woo! <laughs> I am from Poland, but I live in London, but I'm Polish, and I'm standing for animal rights. Go vegan! <laughs> I'm from a village called Somersham in Cambridgeshire, and I'm here uh, representing mothers that don't believe other mothers should have their babies taken away from them so that humans can steal their milk. <laughs> Hi, I'm Amanda Lynch and I'm here for the official Animal Rights March in London. And I'm here with my friend Momo from the Chickpeas podcast. And we made a song. <laughs> Hi, I'm Paul from Hench Herbivore. Seven years ago, I was probably eating more animal products than ever, anyone else you've ever met. I found out not only do we not need to eat animal products, actually it's harming us. We don't need to hurt animals. No one wants to hurt animals if they really know. And now I'm here to try and redress the balance and just, we just need to show the world that some people do care, you know. Aren't you angry enough? Unilever, one of the biggest corporate companies that use vivisection, are profiting from vegan ice cream. The Tories voting that animals are not sentient beings and are therefore unable to feel pain. Judges repeatedly pardoning and excusing hunting communities all over the country just so they can continue their gruesome blood sports. How many more times can you bear to watch yet another innocent being being driven to their slaughter? How many more times do you need to hear of another horse being shot at the races? 
How many more times do these things need to happen until we stand up and make sure that they cannot and will not profit from the fear and suffering of innocent creatures ever again? or gender we are all here united to fight for the vulnerable the tortured the mutilated the abused animals suffering right now across the world unfortunately we cannot save them all we cannot save those we have lost but we can save those who still have a chance and that is why we are here but don't let this be all don't let this be the peak we still have so much to do and learn I have learned a lot this year, like how I can use my voice to speak out against injustice. Like understanding that we as individuals have the power to change the world and make a difference to somebody's life. And I have learned for all of those who say you can't, we can, we will, and we are. And we will never ever stop until every cage is empty and all animals are free. We will keep going no matter what. Nothing can stop us. Not police, not laws, not barricades, not governments. We are rising. We are powerful. We have the truth. Now we as a movement exist in the millions of individuals, but together we move as one. And as one, we cannot be stopped. We will not be stopped. And these industries, the ones who exploit others, they feel what we feel, and they fear it. And they fear us, and they should fear us. For every single day, our numbers grow stronger, our conviction grows harder, and that change becomes ever more inevitable than it was the day previous. And they fear us because they know that we will not stop fighting, that we will never take a day's rest, and we will never take a day's break until the animals are liberated from the shackles that our species has imprisoned them within. We are here today for the calves taken away from their mothers. We are here today for the hens who are exploited for their eggs. We are here today for the chickens who are exploited and murdered for their flesh. We are here today for the pigs who are locked in farrowing crates. We are here today for the lambs on the way to the slaughterhouse. And we are here today for the millions upon trillions of animals who are mercilessly dragged out of the ocean. The marine animals who are killed without any dignity or respect. We're here today for all the animals tortured in laboratories, for all the animals abused and tormented in zoos and circuses and aquariums. We're here today for all the animals who are plucked and sheared and skinned and murdered for their flesh, their feathers, their fur and their wool. And what lies ahead of us will not always be easy. We will feel pain, we will feel anguish, we will feel despair, and we may even feel hopelessness. These industries will spread lies. They will try to scam people. They will try to deceive us. They will question our integrity. They will question our individual characteristics and our motives. And they will try and drag our image through the mud to try and make us no longer credible. But we have one thing, the truth. So come together, fight together. Because when we do so, when we fight in unison and as one, we can change the world. And we must change the world. The animals need us. They need you. So what will you do from tomorrow onwards? The path that we walk down together does not last forever. And at the end of that path is total salvation and liberation. So never look back. Only ever look forward and defiantly march as fast as you can towards the end of that road to ensure those animals who are screaming in terror in this very second, to ensure that one day their screams will be silenced, not because of knives, but because of liberation. And so I ask you this one final question. 
Are you with me? Yeah! Thank you very much.